let's talk about something that's going to make us happy. A season three deep dive into Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. They just dropped this. It launches tomorrow. It launches tomorrow. And I was actually, I had tabs pulled up uh, prior to this because I wanted to, I wanted to talk about how they were doing absolutely nothing. Like their announcements tab hadn't been updated in months. Their patch notes tab hadn't been updated since season two. Dev updates hadn't been updated uh, since February 9th, which is hilarious. Known issues, May 22nd was the last time they updated it. So I was like, they haven't said anything about this new season. They really are on a on a like a, a skeleton crew. But then while we were playing the Shattered Space DLC, they dropped this. They dropped the the new playable character, Lawless, Melee Weapon Pack, okay, guns, Green Lantern and Superman Brainiac fight. That's right, it's another reskin. New shop items, of course, ever changing metropolis and then a Superman Brainiac fight. So they're reusing an already reused boss fight. They already did a Superman Brainiac fight that was a reskin. They are reskinning the reskins now. You cannot make this up. It's unreal. And they posted this like season three deep dive thing. But interestingly enough, they have not posted a, a GIF or video of her movement and i thought that was weird but if you go back to like season of frozen hearts if you go back to like this one they have this but they showed clips of how she moved of her her in play so you can actually get a feel for it and, and like okay okay so that's how she's gonna play with this one they didn't it's just screen caps and do you want to know like okay bear in mind what is the name of this game suicide squad right literally suicide squad how would you sell a new playable character who is joining the suicide squad filled with villains famous villains that are murderers are are thieves they're not good people which is why they are villains how would you sell this in the most cringy way possible one of gotham's newest and most ethical thieves I am not kidding. In the first eight words, like they're trying to frame her as an ethical supervillain. What? Because <laughs> again, it's like, I don't know what it is. Like this cringe new thing, like fair game dollar sign also is doing this where they're like, no, it, yeah, you're robbing people and like you're stealing from, from people uh, to take money. That's like the theme of the game is fair games you are stealing from the rich and the powerful but it's okay because you're making everything more fair right so it's okay to steal in that case and in this case it's it's another instance of this where it's like no it's okay for her to steal she's like an ethical thief which like maybe i was just raised in like too too religious a household or something but i thought like theft was just bad i thought we could just agree that being a thief was a bad thing but I guess now we're reframing it as Gotham's newest and most ethical thief. <laughs> you can't make this up. Lawless is determined to use the skills of a master criminal that her father taught her to... I swear to... F I... I didn't even read on. I didn't even read on, dude. Look what it says. She's using the skills of her criminal father to redistribute the wealth in her hometown. <laughs> I swear to God, I... It's so bad. It is so predictable. It's unbelievable, dude. It's crazy. She's, oh, good. She's sending a message to the people of Gotham that they don't have to live in fear of the city's out-of-touch elites. This game was made by Warner Brothers, bear in mind. Oh my God, any longer. And her method for spreading this message. Oh, I, dude, this has to be a prank. This has got, this cannot be real life. Her method for spreading this message is to live stream her heists for her adoring fans to see. I thought it, I thought it couldn't get worse. They literally made like an influencer 
who live streams her her robberies and burglaries to her adoring fans because she's trying to send a message to the people of Gotham that they don't have to live in fear of the out of touch elites and therefore she's an ethical thief like this is the most tumbler I, I don't even like weird bizarre power fantasy thing I've ever seen like this is crazy it's Saints Row Saints Row reboot 2.0 yeah for sure I just yeah it's it's like some weird power trip where they're dreaming of of actually doing I, I don't know man it's breaking my brain if you hadn't noticed her last name Zoe's father is none other than Floyd Lawton aka the squad's very own dead shot Zoe eagerly devoured any lesson her dad would teach her exhibiting the same drive and pragmatism that made him the world's deadliest assassin that was until his tangle with Green Lantern which landed him in a spot landed him a spot in Arkham Asylum and left Zoe heartbroken at the loss of her role model but if you were to ask her now, she'd tell you that that's when she had her eyes opened. Having Deadshot locked away allowed Zoe to see the realities of life in Gotham. Oh, that's what woke her up to being so slay, I guess. Away from the rich, comfortable life that her father's crimes had provided for her, while the privileged class in the city were growing richer than ever, the common people were suffering, unable to afford to live in the city that was their home. Once Zoe's eyes were open to this injustice, she knew that she had found her calling, using her talents as a thief for some dot 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 aggressive redistribution in Gotham. And so Lawless was born. We're about to have probably the most insufferable playable character in any game in recent memory. I'm telling you right now, this is gonna be tough to stomach. I can already hear the the dialogue. I can already hear the the quips where she kills some some enemy and is like, yeah, take that capitalism. <laughs> I can, I I can't wait. This is one of those things where like when people are like, hey, are you like celebrating the failure of the game? I've tried very hard to be like, no, we're not celebrating the failure of like hard work from artists and stuff. But when you think that the gaming community is going to connect with this, meanwhile, like while your game has been produced by a multi-billion dollar corporation that's run by some of the most like cutthroat business elites ever, like I, I lose all sympathy. This is unbelievable. I cannot believe that they're, they're doing this. At least like Mrs. Freeze was just kind of cringe and then like a needless gender swap. But this is, this is something else. This is crazy. This is like the most preachy like attempt at relating to the the student loan rattled kids like it's unreal but when Bradiac invades metropolis and word gets out about the most advanced alien technologies brought along with him lawless is unable to resist the allure of the heist of the century by grabbing as much of this tech as she can and selling it to the highest bidder just think of the good she'll be able to do uh back home but after arriving in metropolis she realizes that this is going to mean a reunion with her dad something she is not looking forward to dad shot they actually typed that out dad shot won't stop treating her like the vulnerable 13 year old she was when he got locked up rather than the 18 year old super thief she is now it'll take a, wi a while before she's ready to trust him again but it turns out killing purple aliens is the perfect father-daughter bonding activity. So maybe there's hope for them yet. The biggest unexpected perk for Lawless, however, is the anti-gravity tech she's been able to plunder from Brainiac. After a little repurposing, she's found that she can manipulate gravity at will, allowing her to pull off daring heists she previously only dreamed of. The ability to fly clean over Brainiac's forces doesn't hurt either. Her primary traversal ability changes the direction of gravity for her, allowing her to fall in any direction. This makes for a traversal style that's chaotic and incredibly powerful in the right hands. Okay. And then they have, oh God, dude, these are the play, these are the play styles. Influencer, revolutionary, and thief. I cannot believe this is real. This kitty has claws. <laughs> For anybody to think that this, this was good. I I cannot, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. It's, I, I have no words. I have no words. I'm, I'm lost. They've broken me. 
after all this like i said in my last suicide squad video on the the big channel i was like guys i don't know if i'm even going to return for season three because i don't think there's going to be anything to talk about i i think we're going to boot up and like pretty much have nothing to say it's just going to be really really boring never in a million years did i think they were going to like not even double down but like quintuple down it's wild to me it's like i said in the the video the other day it feels like for so many of these games they never stopped to consider if people like actually wanted this if this was going to connect with people if they were going to like it if they were going to find it interesting like they never stopped to ask hey is this a character people want i think when people are playing games like this they don't want to be reminded of their their student loans they don't want to be reminded of wealth inequality they don't want to be thinking about all this stuff they just want to play a fun video game for the love of god like, why do we have to try to turn everything into like, no, we understand you. Please, like, give us $70, by the way. Um, and then also buy this character for 10 bucks. But, you know, once we do that, then we're fine. But it's okay because we, we made this character that, like, also hates the rich. So it's okay. It's so insulting. That's the big thing. It's, it's, it's so insulting. They clearly think that you're, like... You're so stupid that you're just going to be like, oh, well, they, they do not, this character do not like the wealthy either. So I would give them lots of money. I'm going to buy their $20 skins and their $10 skins. And I'm going to play it and have so much fun because she slay. Like it's so insulting, but it shows a lot about what they, they think of gamers. They think that they would connect with it. I'm becoming visibly upset. Yeah, I am visibly upset. Like they've, they've had at this point enough time where they could have made a pivot. They could have trimmed a lot of this stuff out, even just in the way that they frame it. But the fact that the way they open this is that she is one of the most ethical thieves. She also is sending a message to the people of Gotham. They don't have to live in fear of the city's wealthy out of touch elites, which is one of the most ironic statements they could have possibly made about this game out of touch elites like jesus christ almighty and then she also is an influencer and live streams her her heists for her adoring fans i will bet you so much money right now that when we try this tomorrow it's going to be so insufferable it's just going to be constant quips about yeah take that patriarchy take that i just i don't have the strength for it anymore dude i thought we had peaked i thought the joker was really rough and then i thought mrs freeze was also like okay okay the next couple are going to be boring and then it'll be fine again there just there was never a question of do gamers want this like do our fans want this it was always no you're going to play it you're going to like it suicide squad is one where it, it's uh a like it's just such a fall from from grace for rocksteady anybody who's like oh well they're making a batman game it sounds like you think these people can make a good batman game really think i guarantee you there'd be whole whole like segments of the game dedicated to how bruce wayne is a billionaire and therefore he's evil that's probably going to be the whole story is that batman's actually the bad guy because he's wealthy that's gonna be the whole thing i would not even begin to feel any interest or excitement towards a a rock steady game after seeing how they continue to double and triple down on this stuff. I understand it's a skeleton, a skeleton crew at this point and they can't change this stuff, but even just to continue framing it this way is just insulting. So we'll try it tomorrow. I think we all know how it's going to go. I don't think any of us are expecting it to magically blow us away at this point, but I guess we will see. He took my thing.